"'Twas the night of the king's castration. The last of the royal balls was coming off. All the counts, discounts, and no counts were sitting around the throne room slinging camel shit, for in those days bullshit was as yet unknown. A noise was heard in the courtyard, and in came Daniel on his gallant white steed, with his balls slung over his shoulder. "'What ho!' cried the king. Asshole, replied Daniel, thus scoring an early point for the common people. At this, the queen dashed madly through the courtyard with her drawers at half-mast, and her ass shining like a looking-glass in the moonlight. Hilarious now, the king offered Daniel the post of second in command. But what of the queen? asked Daniel. Oh, fuck the queen, replied the king, and fifty thousand loyal courtiers were killed in the rush, for in those days the king's word was law, and the king ruled with an iron hand. Upon seeing such mass slaughter, the king, in exasperation, exclaimed, Oh, shit! And all fifty thousand remaining loyal courtiers dropped their drawers and squatted on their haunches and strained and grunted in unison, for in those days the king's word was law, and the king ruled with an iron hand. Stop! cried the queen, thinking of the royal carpet. The king called halt, and forty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine loyal buttholes snapped shut with a stately click, and forty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine glistening turds were snipped gently steaming in the morning air. And all save, all save for that of Daniel, who proceeded to lay one two cubits wide by one cubit high by three cubits long. The king was sore affronted and ordered Daniel thrown into the lion's den for three days and three nights, for in those days the king's word was law, and the king ruled with an iron hand. And here was Daniel in the midst of all those roaring, snarling beasts, but of course you could easily recognize Daniel by the large green parasol that he always carried. On the first day, the queen came unto Daniel, and Daniel said, O queen, I am, in need, <laughs> I am in need of some tea. And the queen asked, What manner of tea? Daniel replied, C-U-N-T. And the queen departed. <laughs> On the second day, the queen came unto Daniel, and Daniel said, O queen, I am in need of some pills. The queen asked, What manner of pills? Daniel replied, Nip pills and the queen departed. Again on the third day, the king came unto Daniel, but it had come to pass that on that morning of the third day, Daniel had shat a great shit, and the lions were sore affronted. Almost all of them had thenceforth kept their distance from Daniel, but one of the lions took a liking to Daniel's left nut and began to munch upon it. Oh, it tickles, it tickles, cried Daniel. What tickles, asked the king. Testicles, roared Daniel, thereby scoring another point for the common people. Upon hearing this, all the ladies in the courtyard took out their tits and tittered. Then the lion crouched as if to spring. Then the lion crouched as if to spring, but instead laid a big turd. This amused the king, and he ordered Daniel to come forth. But Daniel slipped uh, <laughs> on the lion's turd and came fifth, thus utterly losing the race. This angered Daniel so greatly that he picked up the lion turd and with menacing accuracy hurled it at Random. Random, being a crafty little bugger, ducked and the turd hit the king full in the eye. Now this made the king exceedingly angry, whereupon he inquired, Where's the queen? My lord, she is on the royal crapper. And is she well supplied with paper? My lord, she has forty reams of the finest linen. It is good, said the king. And where's the princess? Oh she's, up sp the baby. <laughs> oh, she's upstairs in bed with laryngitis. Not that fucking Greek again, cried Daniel. <laughs> this, this amused the king, and he spake. Oh, fuck the princess. And another 40,000 loyal courtiers were trampled to death in the rush. For in those days the king's word was law, and the king ruled with an iron hand. And besides, the princess was a comely wench. This made the king exceedingly angry, but the queen only said, Well, I'll be fucked, more in hope than in indignation. But nobody moved, save a solitary, senile, senestial, quietly masturbating in a corner into a silver teaspoon, and Daniel, who, taking her at her word, grabbed the queen by her butt cheeks and slipped her onto his dick like a well-worn jack <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Later in the evening, the king entered the royal boudoir, and beheld the queen lying on the bed, clad only in nature's attire. Roll over, queen, ordered the king. I'll be fucked if I will, shouted the queen. You will at that, observed the king. 
but you'll be cornholed if you don't if you won't. Hearing this, the queen shed a gold brick, for in those days a square asshole was a symbol of royalty. When the queen, when the king saw this, he cried, "Balls!" Not because he had to, but because he had to. And the queen replied, "Balls! If I had to, I could be king." Whereupon the king, having having partaken of overripe olives, hide himself to the innermost part of his kingdom and proceeded to shit buttermilk for three days and thereafter was forever known as King Darius throughout the world. Blaming Daniel for his digestive discomfort, the king sentenced Daniel to wander in the wilderness for forty days and forty nights. For in those days the king's word was law and the king ruled with an iron hand. And so it came to pass that Daniel wandered in the wilderness for many a long day and many a long night. But in the evening of his thirteenth day in the wilderness, Daniel was set upon by bandits. Not as you might at first surmise ordinary bandits, but Mexican bandits. Nor as you might second surmise ordinary Mexican bandits, but Mexican bum bandits, who debagged him, scragged him, and shagged him, and left him with his pockets jingling and his asshole tingling. <laughs> <clears throat> Months went by before the queen came unto Daniel. O oh, Daniel, I am heavy with child. What steps are to be taken? Fucking big ones, replied Daniel, as he vanished over the southern horizon. 